Hello, it's Jean again from Planet Pinup. Um, now I've added a few things to the front of my hair to show you the alternate way to put on snoods. Um, this is slightly more complicated, but if you have something fancy going on up front, it's absolutely necessary. You can't use the hat method because it'll screw everything up. Uh, I've got these in clips right now just to keep my curls nice and tight until I'm ready to let them go. Um, but if your hairdo is ready, you don't need to leave clips in for any particular reason. I've also added some volume to my hair. We just give it a little pump up with the curling iron. So make my snood look a little bit more full. If you have time and you feel like it, you can do this too if your hair is a little bit thinner like mine is. Now, we're going to take the snood, same snood as the last video. Uh, it's a nice mint one. This is with modern yarns, very soft. All right, and we're going to remove the bobby pin. Now this is what is going to. This is going to be key to this whole operation, not just decoration like it is for the other method. So I'll put that down for just a moment. <clears throat> now, I also need bobby pins up front. This is a thing I do when I am doing Wanda's hair, who is the mannequin for my Etsy shop. When Wanda's hair is always wigs, so it's going a specific direction all the time. It's very hard to convince it to change direction. So I don't get the most expensive wigs, frankly. So we give them a little pin up to encourage the hair to go back where I want it to eventually stay. You don't have to do anything super fancy, just a little bobby pin on each side. So another reason why having my clips still in is kind of a good idea so I don't accidentally pull it in the part that I want to leave out front. Alright, so no particular spot, just kind of herding my hair to the back of the head. So, get stretchy, little elastic there. We're going to find the back of my part right about here. Then use the bobby pin open her up and now slide it got it through both your hair and the snood attempting to keep it straight while you're not able to see it this is a little bit of a challenge but I think you're up to it okay so now it's pretty good right up top we're gonna take a couple more bobby pins <clears throat> and we're going to Pull it down to about here. I always like it just about behind the ear. Now, if you're very talented, you might be able to hook it to the bobby pin that you just put in. I'm not very talented, so this is how I do it. We do the same on the other side just to kind of get it in place. You can always move these later once your hair is put in, but I want extra anchors so I don't accidentally pull the snood off while I'm getting all my hair in there. Okay, so my fingers are getting stuck in my hair. This will also happen to you. So, it's important to have a video that's not perfect because otherwise you'll feel like maybe you didn't do it right. You just mess with it. You know, it's hair. It's not brain surgery. If you screw up, you can just start over. Okay, bobby pin open. And you slide it up in there. Attach it. Put your snood. Okay. Not exactly. Actually, it's not the dumbest look, but not what I'm going for. So now I'm going to round my hair up. I'll turn around and try to shout loud so you can hear me. Now, even though I just curled it and fluffed it up, I'm going to tighten it, pack it up so it's easy and compact to cram it into the snood. Even though I can't see it, I'm feeling for the parts of the hair. Okay, so we're in. Now, I still feel like this looks a little small. I'm not loving it. So I smooth it down on the sides. It really feels very secure though. It's not going anywhere. Take the little fingers and reach right into the netting and fluff up that hair. As fluffy as you want. Now if you have extra long or extra thick hair, you might, you probably will not need to do this. It will probably hang down nice and low on its own and you will just be concerned about making sure it doesn't, you know, be too heavy and pull it off. You can even, if your hair is really thin or if it's super short and you want your snood to hang down, you can put like big ponytails or hair extensions in there if you can find inexpensive ones that look kind of close to your natural color. 
or not at all like your natural color just go crazy okay so it's nice in place I like the way it looks I'm gonna take out mr. clips on each side out of my bangs whoops see <laughs> live television okay Give these a little twist and adjust your snood and you are ready for the dance enjoy your snoods at ones like this and lots of colors and I can make any color you want so just contact me through my Etsy shop or through this page Etsy shop is called planet pinup and of course you can email me here anytime enjoy your hair